A new film is bringing light to a very dark part of our history. I was told that it never happened. I learned about how thousands of Ukrainians and other Europeans were unjustly imprisoned, not because of any wrong they had done, but only because of who they were, where they had come from. This documentary is called That Never Happened. It looks at our country's first national internment operations when more than 8,000 people were in prison and forced into slave labor. The film is screening at the UN just a few days from now, but we have the filmmaker, Ryan Boyko, in studio with us this morning. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. A lot of people, including many Ukrainian Canadians, did not know that this is part of our history. Why is that? In 1954, the government actually destroyed the records, all personal records that uh, were for any individuals who were in these camps. They were actually destroyed. Um, there are many theories as to why they were destroyed, but uh, we touch on that a little bit in the film. Uh, it's surprising, I think, also to a lot of people. Many people know about the Japanese internment camps that happened after the Second World War. Less is known about the first time we did this. Yeah, less is definitely known. Uh, that's why it's called That Never Happened, um, because that's often the response that you get when you're talking about the internment operations. Um, it's called Canada's first national internment operations because we did it two times, and we've actually invoked the War Measures Act three times in our history. And a reminder for people, that meant that all rights are stripped. All rights are stripped, and that the government has absolute power over its people. And basically, it was based on their nationality. Based on their nationality, yeah. Uh, can you describe what you've learned through your research about what happened at these camps? Um, so these camps, in many ways, were make-work projects. Uh, it was during World War I. Just prior to the First World War, there was a recession in Canada, so you had a lot of these people who had been invited to Canada to uh, um, settle the West uh, and make sure that provinces like Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Alberta were not annexed by the United States. Uh, they were invited. They would here to clear land and, and work, but because of the recession, a lot of them couldn't make it. So they would go into the major centers, and uh, that's when we would have uh, cases of welfare and such. But once the war started, um, they were seen as enemy aliens. Did they get any of their property back, any things that were taken from them? No. Anything that was confiscated was never returned. Uh, and many who may have escaped from prison or, um, you know, would leave at the end of the internment operations, many of them never claimed their salaries or that which they would have made during, the, during that time. So. It's interesting to note in the documentary, too, this has not happened to people of color, which is typically what happens in a situation of discrimination. These were white European nationals. Right, but they were the other at that time. They didn't speak English. Uh, they had their own uh, education system. They had their own schools. They had their own churches. So they were seen as others. They were seen as a threat. And I think that's something that we often do is who is the other and who is different. You were telling me this is something that you've been thinking about since you were 16 years old, since you first learned about this. Yes. This is now being screened at the UN. This is going to really shatter or shake a lot of people's impression of what they see as Canada on yeah. the global stage. Well, and I think that's one of the one of the main reasons that uh, the permanent mission of Canada to the UN chose this film is they have a duty and a responsibility to um, other countries around the world and to try and help them uh, do great things with human rights. And this being the 70th anniversary of the Declaration of Human Rights, they wanted to do something uh, impactful and they wanted to show Canada's history uh, mm -hmm. and how far we've come. And actually, without the government of Canada, uh, we would not have been able to to make this film. You know, we talk a lot about othering when we're talking to our kids in, in our current society, but it's a fascinating look at, you know, Canada's history when it comes to that practice. Yeah, definitely. All right, thanks for coming in this morning All to right. talk about it, Ryan. Thank you. Reminder, the film is called That Never Happened. It will be released across the country in October.